Hello everyone! Oh my goodness, it has been a crazy month. All good things, but my energy has been completely consumed by other projects and so I haven't had a chance to post much on Instagram or make YouTube videos. And I miss it, but right now I'm in like house mode. So Brian and I are moving into a new house in October. And so starting September 1st, I have been going there nearly every weekday and plastering, patching, insulating, drywall, painting every single room in the house and all the cabinets. <laughs> and so, and there's still some flooring that needs to be taken care of. Um, and it's been wonderful. I love this kind of work and it's really exciting because I have learned a lot of these skills through people that I've worked with. I'm actually going to be working with some people doing a kitchen renovation in November and they have taught me so much. And so has my dad, actually. When I was younger, I worked a lot with, with him. So now I get to apply all these skills that I've learned throughout my life and tackle something mostly by myself. <laughs> and it's at times extremely overwhelming and I want to curl up in a little ball in the corner, but mostly I am so excited to be doing this. It feels really gratifying and rewarding and I feel pretty confident in what I'm doing and I think this will be a wonderful space for us. I hope, I hope it will be a wonderful space for us. We won't know until we're there, but anyways, so we finally got an opportunity to go on a camping trip for the weekend and I think both of us needed it. Brian's been really busy with work as well and I think it was, I don't know what he would say about all, all of this, but it was one of those reminders of having expectations can kind of make things a little tricky. And I went into it with these, these ideas of, I don't know, a certain, a certain idea. And things went a little differently than expected. We moved camp three nights in a row, <laughs> but I'm not complaining. It was actually a really wonderful camping trip. We found some incredible swimming holes. We went on a wonderful hike. We napped and read in the hammocks. We hung out, sunbathed. Fig and Bean had a blast, which is so valuable to me. I love seeing them in their element. Fig especially. He's such a great camping dog. I got to type in the woods, which is always wonderful. Let's see. I'm trying to think. Well, let me just tell you. The first night we got there, uh, we, we left pretty late in the day, and so we arrived at night, and the only camp spot that was available um, was really rocky and we made it work really nicely. It was actually quite comfortable But hard for fig to navigate So the next day when another spot opened up we moved I'm just gonna take a moment <laughs> Brian Joined me in the hammocks and it suddenly became like a bumper boats with hammocks it was so relaxing before. Thanks Brian <laughs> So we moved the next morning over to this new camp spot and then spent the rest of the day kind of being bums. I think we really needed to just not do anything for a while because we had been like, go, 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 wake up, get the day started, go home, eat dinner, watch a TV show, go to bed, rinse, repeat. So it was really nice. <laughs> And then the next day, we went on a hike, first thing in the morning, feeling more or less refreshed, and went hiked up to these springs where we were able to fill our water bottles, and it was so wonderful. Always magical 
being able to drink out of a mountain. And then we went back to camp and things got a little weird. My Quebeco brass sport that I always take on trips like this has been leaking this whole trip, so I haven't been using it. Although I've still been carrying it around with me because it's always been kind of like a security blanket. Um, and so as we were, as I was getting my backpack ready to go hiking, um, I decided to take it out and leave it on our little table setup, which is just right over there. And I just left it out there because I didn't want it to leak all over my backpack. We get back, make breakfast, and I'm sitting at the table I'm like, where's my pen? And so we start looking around and then I look in my backpack and I look in my suitcase and I look in the tent and I look in, you know, on the ground, like, where did it go? Did I just absentmindedly stash it somewhere, like, at the last minute? And then I'm like, I, it's not here anymore. It's gone. But it still didn't make any sense. And then we go in our tent and Brian's like, our wool blanket's gone. And the tent had been left open. And which we both were like, huh, that's unlike us to leave the tent door open. But we were so absent-minded this morning that maybe we just forgot. And then we realized someone came through our camp and took a wool blanket and a brass fountain pen. <laughs> like, strange things to take. <sighs> Thank God nothing else was taken. But it's still, like, now I just feel, ugh. Like, I want to get out of this space. I don't want to be here anymore. We're leaving. So we decided to pack up and still make the best of our day. All right. And we took a drive on all of these old, like, ranch roads and discovered so many perfect swimming pools. Like, lap size, Olympic size <laughs> swimming pools. And it felt so good, and we swam, and we swam, and we enjoyed ourselves, and as the day was nearing an end, we decided, you know what, we're gonna stay one more night. We're gonna reset up camp for a third time, find a new spot somewhere else, and enjoy ourselves. And so that's what we did. We did it all over again. <laughs> we're like professional camp setters now and I'm so grateful that we decided to stay one more night because the next morning was everything I needed it to be. I got to write so many pages in my journal. Um, lately mornings, you know, I, I continue to write but it's shortened. I don't spend a lot of time as I usually like to and I just get out the door as soon as I can, as soon as I wake up. So to have that chunk of time in the woods with the most beautiful dappled lighting coming through green leaves and the creek washing by and just the beautiful, beautiful space. That night it rained on us and so the weather was just perfect the next day. And I felt so much more at peace there was a zen in my life again, and that just felt so good. And I hope that it was the same for Brian too, because he needs that as well. So anyways, that's what's where I've been. I've been busy painting a house and uh, I no longer have my Caveco. My, my special little Caveco. I'm a little sad about that. But all I can hope is that somebody will cherish that pen and use it. Maybe they'll consider it their lucky, their little, like, good luck stone or something. I don't know. I have to create some sort of story in my, my head. I would be so sad if it just got dumped because they opened it up and were like, what is this? Anyways, thank you all for watching. I hope that your month has gone well. I'll see you soon.